first off, you've chosen a profession that may not be the obvious choice for someone that's a beta personality or someone that suffers from low self-esteem or has a harsh self-critic. Right. I mean, I kind of feel like there are two kinds of people who become actors. There's the kid who was in the center of the playground being the best, most inherently themselves version uh, of themselves and, you know, so comfortable and loud and confident. And then there was the kid on the side of the playground, like, with the bugs, taking notes on human behavior. And then, like, one day, like, presenting their notes. Like, I feel like I definitely was the latter kind of kid, kind of like the sidekick who was, like, saying things out of the corner of their mouths, being like, this is what I observed today. And then the jock overhearing it and being like, this is what I observed, like saying it louder, right. um, but uh, and getting the laugh, um, and I kind of feel like a lot of being an actress, especially, is like even if you're the latter kind of kid, you have to pretend you're the former. Like when I'm working, I do feel like you can like swim in the kind of beta ness of it and be creative and dark and um, and then in outside of working, it's like what's your morning routine? And making duck lips and stuff and all, all this stuff where inside my everything in me is like, oh, my God. <laughs> but you have to sort of pretend to be the other thing. Right. And your outsides are sort of that other thing for so many people. Right. Yes. For this second. That's what's scary is that uh, I feel like for this island of time in my hopefully long life, uh, you know, I, uh, this is the best it's gonna be. And then it's all gonna fall down, uh, cause it's all real. Uh, and, <laughs> but I wanna keep acting and keep doing things. So I can't listen to the business when it tells me like the things we wanna hear and see from you are the things that are going to expire. So I have to, right. I feel like it's my job to sort of Trojan horse it into people's brains. Like, hey, maybe I got this job because, uh, my tits are in my chin and I've got like Kardashian war paint and like a tailored outfit within an inch of my life. And now I'm like, and here are the three weird ideas that I planned alone in my room. Like, thanks for inviting me for this stuff, but I'm also weird. And like when my face falls and my tits are in my shoes, like, can you keep hiring me for the weird part? Cause I want to do this until I'm 85. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.